Hi, it's Barb, and I'm going for a ride on Nick. It's a beautiful uh, day here in Texas, and what I want to talk to you about in this video is about how to tune into where your horse's attention is. And for some reason this week, I've had about four or five versions of the same question. So I thought that I would just respond to it. And here's the question. The question is, what do I do when my horse kind of gets big or they, they get resistant about something that they're not sure about? So I spared you riding <laughs> and me carrying the camera because of too much movement and you might get a little uh, not feeling so good. So I rode over to this side of our pasture to a place where Nick sometimes gets kind of big. And by, by big, I mean head up, uh, neck bigger, seems to be bigger, ears pointed keenly like right now because I'm pretty feel pretty relaxed but I can feel his heart beating on my left uh, calf and so if I want him to go closer that there's some dogs barking on the other side of the fence and that's what he's not too keen about so if I go closer here you know he's allowing me to do that so that that's good but if there was a place where he started to get, like like right here, he paused. So I'm just gonna let him pause and get and get okay with all this and think about it a little bit. And because we have done this a lot out here in the pasture, and by the way, it just got plowed, so it's a little lumpy. So we haven't been down here in a, in, a, in a little bit. But because he knows that when he kind of raises up, that I wait for him to relax he trusts me and I just waited for him to do that and then I could walk up a little more let's see if he'll allow me to walk up a little bit more yeah he's good he's good so the first moral of the story is if you go into a new arena or you're on the trail and something happens and your horse raises up just stop for a moment and let them relax a little bit and help, let them tell you when they're ready to, to take the next steps forward. And this could be like in a show arena, it can be a lot of places, but sometimes we think, don't be afraid of that, and, and we kind of push them through it. And that's really not the best idea, unless of course your horse, you, you don't want them wheeling away. Uh, and then if that happens, then you need to make sure you bring them back to you as soon as possible but this is a big topic so i'm not going to go into a gazillion scenarios of this but i just want to make the point about this approaching something until your horse can be pausing letting them come down a little bit and then kind of testing to see if you can go through that thin veil where they feel a little bit of anxiety and let them trust you to take them the next step and if they raise up again then pause again and it's really about you feeling when they're ready to next, take the next step. I wanna talk about one more thing. If you're a show, and obviously I'm not a show, I'm out in the pasture and Nick is much more relaxed now. He just took a deep breath. But if you're a show and, and your horse is, like, let's say he's afraid of the announcer stand, sometimes that's a big concern and sometimes it's a little concern, but, if, no matter what it is, big or small, if you can do that technique of, of letting them look and wait for them and take another step and spend time, that's great. But let's say that you know that there's still some kind of um, boogie bears, let's say, at, at certain places in the arena. And so that's going to be, we're just going to pretend like in this video today. So... Let's just say that Nick, which he's not, but let's just say that he was a little bit afraid of this uh, tank over here on the left and that I was going to um, be in the arena when I was showing and knowing that I had not completely had the opportunity to 
get him completely relaxed, my job would be to just look straight ahead with my eyes, keep my eyes right in the middle of this path, and look forward and say to Nick and to myself with authority, hey Nick, we're, we're going, we're, we're going, and you keep looking forward, and you just keep looking forward. You can guide, of course, with your legs and all of that, but you don't look down at the horse, don't look at the scary object, just be a strong leader and keep going forward. So I hope that helps. It's just a little uh, touch on the tip of the iceberg for horses that raise up, and I hope this helps. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great week. I want to hear from you.